So looking back at this uh, summer and this the conditions that we've grown crops in this year, you know, we uh, we started out very dry. We had in the first three months or two and a half months of our uh, growing season, we had about five inches of rain. Um, so some of the, the few crop we have under irrigation, we spent quite a bit of time irrigating those. The dry ground crop uh, was impacted pretty significantly through the season. Now in the last month, we've had about 10 inches of rain, so we've made up a lot of that um, in the fall. But a lot of that rain came after the crop was nearing maturity, so how much impact that had on our yield is yet to be seen. The beans look pretty good um, from, a, from a visual standpoint. Uh, it just seems that the stressors have created some empty pods and, and maybe not as many pods as we would have expected. They, they grew and looked quite well, good through the year, but the expectation isn't real great for them as far as because of the stress they had with the lack of moisture. You know, our, our challenge is now we went from extremely dry to being a little bit on the wet side. So we have a few challenges maybe that'll present themselves with the moisture. Hopefully we we will have limited amount of moisture from here on out. But, uh, They're planted all on the same day. The beans are all planted on the same day. Corn's planted all on the same day. And then uh, they'll just watch, uh, make sure that the maturity is right for the corn and or the beans. Yep. And uh, so throughout the year, we come out and check and see which corn comes up, you know, pops out of the ground. So they have emergence uh, ratings they can put. And in the same way with the beans, you know, they, and then they'll so, check for disease, white mold. And, and do all the rating. We'll have like probably three or four trainings out here for dealers and, and customers. And then we'll have at like here in September, we had uh, a big plot tour out here for, for everybody. Yeah. Uh, not just my customers, but any customers that wanted to come. Yeah. And then uh, I have my customer appreciation yeah. this, that night, then back out at the, the farm. Yeah. We went about six weeks without any rain in this area. Uh, this this field is, is a little heavier ground, so I think the beans will be a little better here than on some of our other ground. Uh, we did take out uh, 40 acres Sunday. Um, they were yielding in the low 40s. I would expect these to be a little better, but they're still not close to what potential could be. My son and I farm about uh, 1,800 acres. These are my earliest ones, so they're, like I said, I'm hoping by the end of the week there'll be time to go. Most of my beans will go to a crush plant in Brewster, Minnesota. Oh yeah. And uh, the, the corn all stays there's a feed mill about three miles from here. Okay. And it all goes to either dairy or hog feed. Yep, so we have three shuttle loading elevators. So we load the big shuttle trains and we'll go look at the one out here. And so Holloway, we load trains on the BNSF, Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Twin Brooks, which is in South Dakota, the same, Burlington Northern Santa Fe. But our facility in Appleton, we can load trains on the BN, the CP, Canadian Pacific, the Canadian National, the UP, the so Union Pacific, so and the Twin Cities and Western, and that is a short line yeah, railroad. Right. Yep, and that goes right down to the cities. So that's really good for uh, wheat, wheat markets. And, and so we dump all of our wheat in Appleton. But because of that TCW line, 
hooking up down to the cities, then we can tap into the CPCN and the, and the UP market. So. My name is Ben. I'm a uh, freelancer consulting right now. I used to work for a feedlot that import and export grains back to China and then consulting for some farmers back in China. And I've been with AGP and Soybean Council for five years and uh, hosting trade teams uh, from China and from the US. Uh, definitely as a Minnesotan and then join this tour is very fun and every year I can see Minnesotan farmers are thinking differently and then they're targeting different kind of uh, crop results and they're trying to find different solutions every year to have a better crop for our industry to use and for even overseas buyer to have the uh, beans. Mm -hmm.